this video we'll try to understand what is multicasting and what are the benefits we get with a multicast instead of using a broadcast or unicast now multicasting is a method of sending one single stream to multiple destinations like if, if you take an example there is some a server which is sending some video streaming maybe I'm watching some video online and this multicast and this video streaming is sent to only selected destinations but not to everyone so we got three different types of communications if we get back to the basics like we have a unicast communication now in the unicast one device is sending the traffic and the other one is receiving the traffic that is one-to-one -one communication now one-to-one -one communication we we call it as a unicast traffic now there is another way of communicating or sending the information where we can send a broadcast well in case of broadcast we are sending to everyone one to all that is something what happens in your LAN where where the device simply sends out of, out of a broadcast packet or the broadcast IDs now there is another kind of communication we have multicast where the one sender is sending not to everyone not to a single one single user it's going to send a group of receivers now the group of receivers means like take an example there is a server Maybe I'm, I'm accessing some video online. Maybe I'm watching some video on the youtube.com and there might be multiple receivers who are watching the same video at the same time. So probably the server is sending a one copy of the information and this is received by multiple receivers. Now, now it's, it's not going to send to everyone, but instead it is going to send only to the users who are requesting. Now, that, that's what we call as multicast. Now multicast is a common implementation or the common kind of uh, uh, communication in general in most of the online uh, online video or online TV, live TV or the radio broadcast to the desktop or maybe you are doing some uh, video sort demand or video conferencing kind of applications you are using or maybe you are doing some online training or some, some real time delivery data or maybe you are you are playing some online games or watching some videos on the on the internet probably they typically use uh, they are typically referred as one kind of multicast traffic so probably in this section uh, in this complete course we are going to see how we can support that particular kind of multicast traffic on our cisco routers and switches now the next thing we need to know why there is a need for the multicast why not we can use unicast now let's try to take an example here to understand why we need to use multicast instead of unicast or broadcast like example there is a video server here and this video server is supposed to send a video stream to multiple receivers now I got one receiver here the receiver 1 and I got a receiver 2 and I got a receiver 3 and there is no receiver on the other side now there are some receivers on a different location maybe a different LAN and and my and this video server is supposed to send a video stream to three different receivers now let's say the size of the each each video stream is 1.5 mbps if i'm going to use unicast it is going to do something called one to one communication where it is going to send a separate video stream for user 1 and separate video stream for user 2 and a separate stream for the third receiver now which means if I'm sending a 1.5 Mbps of video stream for 100 receivers it's going to utilize around 150 Mbps of bandwidth. So the number of receivers increases the more amount of uh, bandwidth requirement also increases. And also it is going to add some extra overhead on the, on the server probably sending 1.5 Mbps of video stream for more than 100 receivers. So that is one of the major drawback with uh, with a unicast if you are using uh, if, if you want to send some streaming to multiple receivers maybe to a group now in this case application sends a one copy for each and every client that's what we discussed and it is typically used when you have very few clients which are who are accessing the application now if the message has to be sent to a large group probably the same information has to be carried multiple times on the same link like here if I'm sending 1.5 and if I have some 100 receivers it's going to end up utilizing 150 Mbps of bandwidth 
So the bandwidth utilization is equally proportional to the number of users. The more number of receivers you have, the more amount of bandwidth it is going to utilize. So again, the router makes the individual decision based on each pair of source and destinations. Now probably in this kind of scenarios, unicast is really not an applicable solution. Okay, so in, in some of the worst scenarios, sometimes it will do broadcast where if the if the unicast is unknown, if the destination is unknown, there is a possibility of broadcasting to everyone. Now, let's assume a scenario. What if I decide to use a broadcast? Now, let's say we are using some multimedia traffic using a broadcast kind of scenario where the server is supposed to send the multicast traffic to the three receivers. But in case of broadcast, it's going to send only one copy of information. That's a good thing. Whereas in case of unicast, it sends multiple copies. But the problem is it is it is broadcast to everyone, which means that it will still the users who don't want to receive the particular multicast traffic or multimedia traffic, still they will receive it. So application sends out just a one copy of the packet using a broadcast. Whereas each and every end host need to process even if they don't want. And this is something not really recommended implementation for, for sending your voice, video and data to multiple receivers. Now, if you have some hundreds of users in the LAN, probably all the hundreds of users has to process those packets and then they might get wrong. So it's going to increase the bandwidth utilization on the LAN if, if it is broadcasted. So broadcast is not also an applicable solution in this kind of scenarios. Now instead what we use, we use a multicast. So we're not going to use a unicast. Now unicast is going to have some impact on the performance as well because the server, it adds some extra load on the server, uh, sending multiple frame transmissions. The more number of users we have, the more amount of bandwidth it is going to utilize, the more uh, load extra overhead adds on the CPU. The same thing with the broadcast. Broadcast, it sends unnecessary broadcast, so it's going to increase, uh, it's going to reduce the network performance with too many broadcast messages. And that is something we don't want. Now, instead I can go with some multicast where the server is going to send only one copy of the information. So, and it reaches the one copy of the information and depending upon the number of receivers we have, the router is going to make multiple copies of the information to the multiple receivers. So let's say in this LAN, I have two receivers. The router is going to make uh, two copies of the information here. One is send here and then send on this side. And then based on the number of receivers or the request you have, you are coming to the router. It's going to make the multiple multiple copies. Now in this way, even though let's say I'm sending 1.5 Mbps of uh, video streaming to a particular receiver and I got some 10 users, maybe in the next few hours I got, I'm sending the same information for the hundreds of users. It's not going to increase the bandwidth utilization because we are still sending only one copy of the information. So the server is going to send only one copy of the each packet to a special address. That's plus D address. We'll talk about this more in detail. The server is going to send a single data stream to multiple clients. Now this is the more efficient solution because even if the number of receivers increase, it's not going to add an extra overhead on this on the video server because it is just simply sending only one copy and it is replicated on multi. Uh, it is something replicated by the based on the number of receivers again. Okay, and send out to the receivers and who want to receive only that particular multicast traffic. Now, the major advantage we get with the multicast is it reduces the sending server processing utilization. That's one of the major advantage because the server is going to send only one copy of the information and also it will reduce the bandwidth utilization where it is sent as only 1.5 Mbps, one copy of the information, but it is uh, but it is multiplied based on the number of receivers and also it, it, it reduces the host or the, or the router processing utilization as well. It's going to save the bandwidth, reduce the network bandwidth consumption and the Cisco switches can process the packets and deliver those packets only to the receivers who wants to receive the multicast traffic. 
so which means it is going to send only to the receivers who want to receive the multicast traffic at the same time it is minimizing the cpu utilization and the load on the servers the network utilization as well uh, it's going to be a little bit optimized so that's the reason whenever you have a multimedia traffic to be sent like a video streaming uh, the best possible solution is to use multicast instead of using a broadcast or unicast.